Pataki, you're terrible. Rand Paul is lowly. Rick Perry needs new glasses. A list has been published of every single one of the 281 people, places and institutions that Donald Trump has insulted on Twitter since the beginning of his election campaign. Now they say that you should never judge a man until you've walked a mile in his shoes. So I'm going to walk a mile in Donald's insult shoes. I've got a list here. I'm going to insult every single one of these people as quickly as I possibly can to see what it's really like to be Donald for the day. This is going to require me to channel all of my beginning of the week angst and then some. Okay, I'm thinking of every red light that's ever blocked my path in my life, anyone who's coughed on me on the tube and every chef who has spat in my food. That should do it. Let the anger commence. It's time to get Trumpy. Lincoln Chaffee never could be president. Hillary Clinton is crooked. Cory Booker, you've got no future. Ben Cardin destroyed Baltimore. Bill and Hillary Clinton are the real predators. Bill Clinton, you are highly overrated. Tim Kaine is a joke. Sam Licardo did a terrible job. Michael Nutter is a low life. President Obama is just so bad. Stephanie Rawlings Blake, you're a joke. Bakery sellers, failure. Marty Walsh, wasted energy. Elizabeth Warren is goofy. Debbie Wasserman Schultz is overrated. Anthony D. Weiner is a sleazebag. Bill de Blasio, you're a disgrace. Juan Williams wanted pictures. Jeff Zucker, failed. Mort Superman is dopey. Huma Aberdeen, major security risk. John R. Allen, Bad record. Ruth Bader Ginsburg, you're incompetent. Elizabeth Beck, easy to beat. Paul Begala is dopey. Michael Bloomberg, you're little. Donna Brazile, totally dishonest. Jeb Bush, campaign stager, arrogant. CNN panelists, a joke. Mark Cuban, you're dopey. Gonzalo P. Curiel, bias. Rodrigo Duterte is terrible. Harry Hurt III is a dummy dope. Sherry Jacobs is really dumb. John Kasich's ad guy is a ripoff. Charles Koch, looking for a puppet. John Legere sucks. Errol Lewis doesn't have a clue. Frank Lutz is a clown. Alicia Machado is disgusting. Angela Merkel is ruining Germany. Russell Moore is nasty. Michael J. Morel, lightweight. Dana Perino, you're rubbish. Colin Powell is weak. Barbara Rez is nasty. John Roberts, let us down. Carl Rove is a loser. Tony Schwartz, irrelevant dope. Paul Singer is Mr. Amnesty. Stuart Stevens is sad. Alwali Bintalau is dopey. Vandals are animals. Ben van der Plaat is a phony. Frank van der Sloot, I hate you. Ricky Wilson, idiot. National Review over. New Hampshire Union leader is stupid. New York Daily News is worthless. New York Times is sad. Politico are clowns. Redstate.com small crowds. USA Today will lose readers. Univision doing really badly. Vanity Fair failing. The Wall Street Journal dummies. The Washington Post bad. The Weekly Standard small. George Bush enough said. George W. Bush not nice. Jeff Flake sad. Nikki Haley an embarrassment. John McCain has done nothing. Tom Ridge faulty. Mitt Romney so awkward and goofy. Paul D. Ryan does zilch. Ben Sass looks like a rat. Rick Scott did poorly. John Sununu, dummy. Anson Cooper 360 is a waste. Inside politics is lies. The last words with Lawrence O'Donnell, unwatchable. Meet the Press is biased. Morning Joe has low ratings. New Day treats me badly. The O'Reilly Factor, boring. The View is dead TV. World News Tonight is bad reporting. The 2016 election is rigged. ABC News Washington Post poll is a disgrace. All business for essential Donald Trump is a joke. Amazon, no profit. The American delegate system, totally rigged. Assault allegations are totally phony. Brandon Jude's golf resort is a toy. The Benghazi hearings are a disaster. The bias-free language guide is an outrage. The Bill Hillary and Chelsea Clinton Foundation is criminal. Common Cure standards, a disaster. Ted Cruz's Iowa caucus speech was rambling. The Cruz Kasich pat is ridiculous. Leaked DNC emails are stupid. 
Debates are really dumb. Democratic debate was very boring. The Democratic National Convention was pathetic. The electoral process was rigged. Fox News debate failed. Fox News polls are phony. Illegal immigration is a crime machine. The Internal Revenue Service is a joke. Iran nuclear deal is horrendous. Macy's a racist. Mainstream media is corrupt. Major League Baseball is so ridiculous. Mike phoned up the first presidential debate was really bad. The New York Times articles are a puff piece. North American Free Treaty Agreement was the worst deal. The North Atlantic Treaty Organization was obsolete. Obamacare was disastrous. Oval Office podium looks odd. Political ads in Indiana are false. Protesters are thugs. Republican National Committee is weak. Rocking in the free world? I didn't love it. Saturday Night Live is boring. Special interests are just useless. State of the Union address, lethargic. Super Bowl 50 was very boring. T-Mobile has a terrible service. Trans-Pacific partnership was fraud. Transport Security Administration falling apart. The triumph of William McKinney is terrible. United States employment situation is a bombshell. The US-Mexico border is absolutely disgraceful. US trade pact bad. United States government overpaid. The US visa system is broken. Veterans affairs are incompetent. Voters don't have a clue. Wall Street Journal NBC News poll was a joke. Early voting in Florida was very dishonest. Investigation of Hillary Clinton's emails was rigged. Television commercials are a total Hashtag media fraud. Michael Barbro should resign. Glenn Beck is a real nut job. Joey Bahar was fired. Lisa Belkin, you're a low life. Charles Blow, dishonest. Brent Bazell is a dog. David Brooks is a dummy. Frank Bruni, you're a dope. Mika Brzezinski, mess. Carl Cameron is wrong. Alison Camerota is a disaster. Graydon Carter is sloppy. Amy Chorzik is third rate. Anson Cooper is the worst. Katie Corey, you're forgotten. Essie Cup is a flunky. Sop and Deb, dishonest. Donny Deutsch is irrelevant. Maureen Dowd is wacky. Eric Erickson, you've got no it factor. Major Garrett is bad. Willie Geist is uncomfortable. Bernard Goldberg is not good. David Gregory is not nice. Maggie Haberman is sad. Mark Halbrin has sleepy eyes. Mark Catherine Hamm, not smart. John Harwood, you bombed. Melinda Henneberger, misrepresents. Dan Henniger, lies. Hugh Hewitt is just the gotcha guy. Jeff Horwitz is the worst. Ariana Huffington is a liberal crown. Britt Hume is a dope. Casey Hunt is poor. Hallie Jackson is bad. Megan Kelly is crazy. John King is underachieving. Serge Kovlaski sucks. Charles Kraut, oh, Mary is dopey. Bill Crystal's a dummy. Charles Lane is a real dope. Don Lemon is a lightweight. Tom Lamas is a fraud. Rich Lowry is clueless. Ruth Marcus, you're terrible. John Martin is not good. Megan McCain is angry. Anna Navarro is a flunky. Tom O'Brien is a dumb guy. Claire O'Connor is a dummy. Lawrence O'Donnell is a fool. Steve Ratner should be in prison. Koki Roberts, you're kooky. Jonathan Rubin, you're dumb. Joe Scarborough is a mess. Ben Schreckinger is dishonest. Molly Sims is a disaster. Tavis Smalley, hater and racist. Shep Smith is biased. Ch Chris Stywalt is the dumbest. Mark Tearson failed. Chuck Todd has sleepy eyes. Katie Chur should be fired. The Wall Street Journal editorial boards are dummies. Nico Wallace is clueless. George Will is boring. Alec Baldwin stinks. Whoopi Goldberg is very sad. Samuel L. Jackson is not a fan. Penn Gillette, hokey garbage man. Woody Johnson, you're a moron. John Oliver is very boring. Rhonda Rousey is not a nice person. Paulina Vega is a hypocrite. Neil Young is a Total hypocrite. Britain has a massive Muslim problem. China is terrible. Germany is a total mess. Iran is bad. Mexico is corrupt. New Jersey is troubled. Saudi Arabia are goners. The United States only gets worse. Washington DC is a mess. Jeb Bush's campaign is a waste. Jeb Bush supporters were detrimental. The club for growth is crooked. Ted Cruz's campaign was bad. The Democratic presidential candidates were soft. The Democrats are corrupt. 
corrupt. The European leaders are weak. Islamic State are losers. Obama administration, it's incompetent. Other presidential candidates are phony. Politically correct fools are politically correct fools. Politicians are dumb. The public know nothing. Pundits are pathetic people. Republican establishment is failing. Republican party is unfair. The Republican party of Virginia is stupid. Other Republican candidates are puppets. Republican presidential candidates are puppets. Republicans are naive. The super PACs are a scam. Donald Trump opposition is totally ineffective. US leaders are weak. Washington insiders are a mess. ABC News politics is a lie. Associated politics, false. CNBC is crazy. CNN is a fraud. The Daily Beast is failing. The Des Moines Register is failing. Forbes is failing. Fortune is a nobody. Fox News is a total joke. The Huffington Post is losing money. The NBC News is very dishonest. Martin O'Malley is a clown. Bernie Saunders is exhausted. Jeb Bush is low energy. Ben Carson is very weak. Chris Christie, you suck. Ted Cruz is sad. Carly Fiorina is failing. Lindsey Graham is really sad. Bobby Jindal is a lightweight. John Kasich is poor. George Pataki, you're terrible. Rand Paul is lowly. Rick Perry needs new glasses. Marco Rubio is a big loser. Scott Walker is not smart. And Joseph R. Biden Jr., you are not very bright. Oh. <laughs> oh, I'm more tired than a real American presidential candidate after that one. More exhausted than Hillary Clinton. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed that video more than the American presidential debates, then leave a thumbs up and subscribe for videos that come more regularly than Trump insults every Monday, Wednesday and Friday. Thank you so much for watching. Have a winning week and I'll see you here soon.